Marianne Hupfield, and today I will be showing you how to do a basic powwow dance. So first of all, we're going to go through an inner tribal, just a straight song with a straight beat. And I'll be showing you how to move your feet. So first of all, I would like everyone to clap their hands like this. And now we're going to go down to the ground. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So now we're going to do the same thing that we did with our hands, but with our feet. So we're going to go one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So notice here that one is a tap and two is all your body weight. One is a tap, two is all your body weight. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So that is your basic straight song step. Um, I was taught to call it a front step, so you can take that and you can walk with it. So you can go tap, body weight, tap, body weight, tap, body weight, tap, body weight. Tap, body weight. Let's just say you want to dance to an inner tribal. We're just going to do the basic one, two, one, two step and we're just going to casually walk around and we can talk with the person next to us, with our cousins, blah, blah, blah. Notice every time that you hear a drum beat, your feet are touching the ground with the same one, two, one, two step. So to make this step a little bit more difficult, we're gonna bounce doing it. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I dance as a fancy shawl dancer. So I dance on the balls of my feet. Just that step for one whole song is very hard. It's very hard on your calf muscles. So just ease into it and just practice, practice, practice. Do what you can each time. So typically, women, our dance steps are very high up, kind of like ballerinas and very bouncy, like a jingle dress dance or a fancy shawl dancer. On the men's dances, they're more flat-footed and their, their posture is more down to the ground kind of like sitting on a chair so you'll see the men they'll dance like they'll do one two one two one two one two and the women will be like one two one two one two one two one two so how I was taught to come up with dance choreography was at the Thunderbird house in Winnipeg Manitoba about 12 years ago um, they taught me there to put a to paint a box around your feet and you would label the box with numbers. So, like the back would be four, three, two, and one. And the same numbers on the other side. So, four, three, two, one. And you can number off your combinations. Like right now, I'm gonna do four, three, one. So, four, three, one. Four, three, one. And to keep your body balanced, um, I was taught whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. Side, step, side, step. One of my all time favorites is crisscross. So it's pretty easy, everyone usually can do it. Criss, cross, criss, cross, criss, cross. You can do small kicks. Small kick, small kick, small kick. Let's do our own choreography. So we're gonna start off 
we're going to do four counts of a crisscross. One, two, three, four. Followed by four small kicks. One, two, three, four. Followed by four side taps. So two on my right and two on my left. One, two, one, two. So now let's put it all together. Criss, cross, two, three, four. Small kick, small kick. Side step, side step. Criss, cross, criss, cross. Small kick, small kick. Side step, side step. Criss, cross, criss, cross. Small kick, small kick, side step, side step. So that's just one basic way to come up with choreography for an inner tribal dance at a powwow. Um, most dancers freestyle, but this is just like a good routine to get your body used to moving that way. learn by just years and years of practice and freestyling. Um, becoming a power dancer is a journey and you need to learn from your community members, your elders. Um, I'm an Anishinaabe so I spent uh, many years learning about the seven grandfather teachings and the medicine wheel. It was taught to me that when I put on my regalia I am a role model so I have to act respectfully and set examples and teach other people who want to learn when I'm wearing my regalia. It's about balance and keeping your whole life in balance. The next step, if you are watching this to become a power dancer, my advice would be to learn the songs and practice, practice, practice because your body needs to get, you need to train your body to know these dance steps.